What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Real Time. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And I'm Zah. And today we are back with our next Harry Potter movie reaction. Today we are watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is the fourth movie in the series. I'm really, really excited because it's one of my favorites. I think, Zuff, is, this is your favorite one? Very good. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm, it's it's probably the best one we've watched so far. There's, I feel like this one and the, all the rest of them are just so, so good, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I actually, right after we finished Prisoner of Azkaban, I was just like, I need more Harry Potter. So I started rereading the books, starting with Goblet of Fire going forward. So it's kind of fresh in my memory because I just finished reading the book not too long ago. So I'm, I'm really excited to watch the movie again because it has been a really long time since I've seen this one. It's also been a very long time for me, but I like this one the most because it feels like it gets right into it. There's no like stalling in this movie and just hot from the beginning and i love it i'm super excited i like the characters a lot in this one this is obviously the one with uh robert pattinson that was not obvious to me but i'm excited to see that guy love him in the twilight but yeah everyone has or most people have hyped up this one saying it's one of their favorites if not their favorite i like to give the disclaimer every time if you guys are new i'm the only one that hasn't seen this they have seen it like they just said they like this one I haven't seen uh i've only seen the first three so far so you guys are getting to watch me react to them for the first time ever so so far it's been a very good experience but i am which one has been your favorite so far the last one uh Prisoner of Azkaban. Prisoner of Azkaban. this one yeah. is definitely gonna be your favorite i think the trend's gonna continue at yeah. least up until they keep this getting point. good so mm -hmm. they get better I, I just yeah i just like seeing them uh older and, and doing more stuff and i think that's going to continue as it goes on yeah i don't know how much we have to recap of last one um if you guys didn't see that reaction make sure to go check that one out but pretty much the stuff that got left off that could return i could see is like obviously peter Pettigrew got away like he, he's alive still and Sirius Black also dipped on Buckbeak, so maybe maybe they'll make a return. We're gonna get a new feature of the what is it? The Defense dark, Against the Dark Defense Arts. Against the Dark Arts. Yeah, dude, they uh, keep having a new one every single year. Yeah, this one's good. It was cool last movie getting to see like Harry's dad's friends, like seeing yeah. Lupin and Sirius Black, and like the whole like thinking that Sirius Black is this wanted like fugitive mm. trying to kill Harry and all this stuff. He's actually Harry's godfather. Yeah, it's just <laughs> just a good guy. It was. It, craziest twist so far the the whole series so far i think last movie and that when they're in that room the shrieking and, shack yeah that was yeah. a really like that is a crazy scene in the series i really like that that part i don't know exactly what to expect of this one this one's called the goblet of fire probably the least uh that could be any confident i am in like what this could be chamber could of be secrets anything. is pretty obvious there's a chamber got to figure out what's going on there so of secrets prisoner of azkaban there was a prisoner in the azkaban like Goblet of Fire. Isn't a goblet like a little like bowl type thing? It's like thing? a cup. Yeah. Or yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, we, they've had goblets so far in the series, right? They, didn't they like turn, they drink like, out of stuff. turn like an animal into like a goblet or something last movie? I, I don't forget. recall. In class, I think, but pretty clueless what's going to happen in this one. I'm very excited to see though, because it has been hyped up. Get us into it, Rob. All right, guys. Well, that is pretty much it before we do get into this movie. If you have been liking all of our Harry Potter reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description below. We have the Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias down there, as well as the address to our PO box. Send us something to be opened up on camera, like everything you see behind us right now, for our show mail time. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to get right into this movie. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Let's do it. Parcel tongue. I've been reading up my parcel tongue since the last one. I've been doing some Duolingo. Who is this? Tom Riddle. That's the man that himself. That is... Voldemort. A statue. Whoa. That was a little spoiler in the subtitles. A little bit. That's alright. Probably could have made a good guess. Uh-oh. There's your guy. Ooh, look at his hand, bro. Little hand. David Tennant. <laughs> I will not disappoint you, my lord. Peter Pettigrew was in the freaking other man. Enchanted. Yeah. Oh. That that's a big snake. Frank, get out of there. I don't like Frank's odds of getting out of this one. Ew. 
Damn, Frank. Uh, <gasps> oh, Harry. Harry Potter. That's our guy. Come on, Ron. Your mother says breakfast's ready. <laughs> Are we just permanently out of uh, his uncles? No. The Dudleys? No. Not permanently. There's like a whole intro of why he's at the Weasleys in the book, but it's just like a little summer break thing. Ron looks old, bro. Let's go. I know. Ah, he works with their dad. Oh, hey. hey. What's up with him jumping out of trees and stuff? <laughs> Loves it. Typecasting. We're looking for a guy who can jump really well out of trees. Great. Great pleasure. Pleasure to meet you too, sir. <laughs> I watched this video that said that the, they all showed up to set and they had long hair and the director loved it so much and he just made everybody keep their long hair <laughs> for this movie. <laughs> Pretty cool. Everybody has long, like all the guys have long hair. Why are they all standing around that manky old boot? That isn't just any manky old boot, mate. It's a port key. A port key. Diagonally. Diagonally. Hurry! Free! Yo! Oh! oh. Helicopter, key. helicopter! Port key, baby. They look like a, what's it called on a ship? Like a vast cast? A mast. mast. A mast. Almost, yeah. We Almost. all we got it. Oh. Ow. A port key. Look at these guys. <laughs> look at Robert. <laughs> oh. Let's go. Squidditch. Oh. The Quidditch World Cup, baby. The Quidditch World Cup. Yeah, this is like by far the most interesting intro. Yeah, so far. It's really cool. What? That is a small tent. No, it's gonna be a, a huge room or something somehow. Yeah. Big that tent. Harry so Potter. Cool. Actually, a big tent. It's bigger on the inside. Shout out Doctor Who. That's so cool. Feet off the table! I love the twins, bro. Fred and George. You got it. Hey, really? Mm hmm. Look at the Yo. stadium. That oh is my God. so cool, bro. The biggest stadium in the world is the Quidditch World Cup. Like in the ground. We'll put it this way. If it rains, oh, okay. You'll be the first to know. <laughs> yeah. Good I'm, one, Dad. I'm Lucius Malfoy. Shut the fuck up, dude. Do enjoy yourself, won't you? While you can. How's that supposed to mean, asshole? Oh. Ireland. Yo. That's a leprechaun. Oh, Do your jig. He's Do your jig. Sturdy. What the hell? Do your jig. Let's go, Bulgaria. No, Harry Potter. Harry Potter not exist. Victor. Crumb. Harry Potter plays for high school team. I love him. Victor Damn. Crumb. Crumb. Yeah. Oh, let's go. There's no one like Crumb. Crumb. Dumb Crumb. It's like a bird the way he rides the wind. <laughs> Dumb Crumb. <laughs> Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. This well, fun, this fun didn't last for too long. Nope. This is, uh, this is bad now. He said that it's the Death Eaters. Oh, Death oh, Eaters. God. Okay, alright. They don't look friendly. They're bad just, guys. They're just skeletons? Oh. My dude just got kicked in the head. Wow. They really screwed this place up. There it is. Snake. Is this the guy from the dream? Did yeah, he, he was in that room. Does Harry even have his wand on him? I'm sure he does. <laughs> Ow, my scar hurts. You've been discovered at the scene of the crime. Crime? Barty, 
They're just kids. What tribe? It's the dark mark, Harry. It's his mark. That's the dark mark. Oh. I know that guy. He's a big actor, right? I don't know. He does look familiar. Two pumpkin pasties, please. <laughs> oh, Harry. Harry. That was that wasn't very good of you. Legs are shaking right now, probably. <laughs> he looks so nervous. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. What you saw at the World Cup and the dream. It's pretty important. Should probably write him a letter. Where do you uh oh yeah, I guess Hedwig would just take it. I say, how do you address that? Hedwig's got it. Don't worry. He's a smart owl. Gee. Oh yeah. Oh that was a male. No, Hedwig's a girl. Where's Neville? Where's, that's where's all, Longbottom at? That's all I'm really watching these movies for, let's be real. Hogwarts has been chosen to host a legendary event. The Triwizard Tournament. Ooh. Let's go! Triwizard Tournament. And trust me when I say, these contests are not for the faint-hearted. It's, it's the real the deal, the Triwizard Tournament. The lovely ladies of the Bow Battens Academy of... Bow Battens. Bow Battens. Look at these girls. Just the whole school? They didn't bring the whole okay. school. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Bloody hell. That's one big woman. Seamus. Wow, that is one big woman. He's very large. Look at uh, Dumbledore next to her. Please greet the proud sons of Dumbstrang. And the High Master Igor Kakarot. Oh. Okay. This is an entrance right here. You're doing flips? You're breakdancing at this point. Oh. Victor Crumb. It's Crumb. Oh, Bulgaria. The best Crumb. seeker in the world. Victor Crumb. That is a dude in the rain. Uh, Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Three extremely dangerous tasks. Wicked. Wicked. <laughs> is the guy that was just lurking? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's the guy that was like outside, right? Or no? That's cool. I love the way magic looks in this. Mad eyed moody. Mad eyed moody. <laughs> Aura, dark wizard catcher. Not to sell an Azkaban field thanks to him. He puts the bad guys away? Yeah, it's like super good wizards that like hunt down bad wizards, is what he used to be. What funny drinking do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. Sure ain't pumpkin juice. No student under the age of 17 yep. be allowed to put forth their name Harry, how old are you? Tell me. He's 14. Okay. He's in, yeah. Not even close. Whatever year you're in, it's like how old you are. Ooh. Is that a goblet? That's fire. Is that fire? That sure is fire. The goblet of fire. The goblet of fire. There it is, the one and the only. Anyone wishing to submit themselves to the tournament, nearly write their name upon a piece of parchment and throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. I didn't know he was in the school. Mm -hmm. As from this moment, the Tri Wizard tournament has begun. Have the other schools chosen their people already? No. Okay. They just brought their top people. Pretty much, yeah. That's why they only brought like a couple of their oldest kids. Snape. No. Kakarov. See Igor. That's the guy in head of the boys' school. Hmm. Alistair Moody. The new dark arts teacher? You know it, bro. <laughs> and your new defense against the dark arts teacher. It'd be nice to have you for a movie, brother. Which of you can tell me how many unforgivable curses there are? Hermione? Free, sir. You know it, bro. She knows it. Hermione's on top of that. Need to find another place to put your chewing gum besides the underside of your desk, Mr. Finnegan? Oh, God, dude, he can see everything. Young Carter can see the back of his head. <laughs> 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 Just threw a piece of chalk at him. Which curse shall we see first? 
first. Weasley! Yes. <laughs> Stand. They're so intimidated by him. He's intimidating. I'd be scared of him. Look at him. He is pretty scary looking. Imperial. <laughs> nah. Would not be for me. Ron hates spiders. Ron's really good at making that face. Like that's his face. Oh. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Malfoy. What should I ever do next? Jump out the window? Drown herself? Oh. He's looking a little weird oh, now. Poor little dude. Scores of witches and wizards have claimed that they only did you know who's bidding under the influence of the Imperious Curse. So is he saying people only helped out Voldemort because they said they were under that curse? Yeah, it was okay. a good, like, cop-out. Good excuse. Good excuse for anything, I feel like. There's the, um, the Cruciatus curse. Correct! Correct! Oh, he's about to get the shit <laughs> end of the stick here. He always gets screwed over. Crucio! Ugh. What a poor little thing. Mm, oh, it's just being tortured, bro. He was enjoying that a little too much. Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Granger. What's the last one, Hermione? Death. It's Speak it. Kill it. Oh. Right on Hermione's desk, bro. Why oh. would you do that? Only one person is known to have survived it. Harry. And he's sitting in this yeah. room. That's, that's low-key like shooting a gun on a student's desk. Just death. Death curse. Some names, guys. Comment down below which one of our names you would throw in there to compete. Who would you guys throw in? I don't know. I don't know. A try wizard, probably you, Bryce. Rob, not me. I don't want to do that. Ready, Fred. Ready, George. <laughs> They're not old Boxes enough. Up. Uh uh. They're gonna make themselves old enough though. Hey. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Something's gonna backfire. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. All right, Fred and George. Oh gosh. You said. You said. <laughs> you said. Well, that surely didn't work, there, guys. Whoa. Back off, bro. That was that a little look there. Off. That was a little look. Gum crumb needs to back off. The champion selection! Dim the lights, Dumbledore. Get the vibe right. I feel like the only person that would make sense to represent Hogwarts if it's not Harry is like Robert Pattinson's character because he's brand new. And he's older, I think. Ooh. The dub set champion is Victor We Crumb. knew that. Victor knew Crumb. That. You guys guessed that? Uh -huh. I didn't expect it. Champion for both battles. It's Fleur Delacour. Fleur. They were focusing on her. I could see that. Fleur Delacour. Fleur. Flower. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. All right. Yeah. He's that boy. Wow. We got our three. Cedric Diggory. Anyone will hoist this chalice of champions. But try wizard oh. oh, that. I want that. I want that. It's looking good, bro. Uh-oh. That's not supposed to happen. One more name. It's one more name, dude. What a... What's it say, Dumbledore? <laughs> Harry Potter? What the hell? What's this tournament called? The the Triwizard Tournament? What? That's well, a... What's the age limit? The fourth name? The Goblet Doesn't Lie. The vibe is very different. I mean, after everyone's Harry's just like, name. everyone's just confused. Like, what? Harry, 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 Dumbledore, relax. Oh my goodness. Only an essentially powerful confounder's charm could have hoodwinked. You seem to have given this a fair bit of thought, mad eye. It was once my job to think as dark wizards do, Karkaroff. Perhaps you remember. Ooh, that was some shade. Moody, sick. He is, as of tonight, 
a Triwizard Champion. The fourth one in it's the Triwizard be, a, a Tournament. Quadra Wizard. The Quad Wizard Tournament. Perhaps we should, for the time being, let them unfold. Ooh. What? what? <laughs> do nothing. I mean, Potter is a boy. What the heck does Moody got to do with this? Lurking. Might have let your best friend know, though. Hey, yeah, you know what? You know bloody well what. Damn, Ron, why... why are you okay? Why are you so upset? I don't know what happened tonight, and I don't know why. You just did. Ron is pissed, dude. What do they think this man's capable of? Ron Pal- Piss off. <laughs> oh! Ron Paltley. Oh my god, dude. Hit him with a piss off. Piss off? They should call him Ron Paltley. <laughs> Ron Piss Offly. Harry, I couldn't risk sending Hedwig. Ever since the World Cup, the Ministry's been intercepting more and more hours, and she's too easily recognized. Got a letter back from Sirius, baby. Meet me in the Gryffindor common room at one o'clock this Saturday night. Gryffindor common room? How the heck's Sirius getting in there? Yeah, I mean, the Gryffindor common room. Tricky place to be. Ooh. What the fuck? <sighs> Oh. Ew. There he is. <laughs> Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. What are you saying? I'm saying the devils are inside the wall. Zeke or Karkaroff. He was a Death Eater. Oh. That's some information. That's why Moody was so God weird with him. Out of stone sent his own son to Azkaban. I haven't a clue of what you're naming that goblet, Harry, but whoever did is not friend. Well, we saw Igor go in there and I... Ron! What? I love Ron's time. long hair. Maybe you're imagining things. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh! <laughs> the beef, bro. The Ron and Harry beef. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. Okay, oh. well. What? <laughs> uh, um... Ron, quit pouting, bro. He's been a baby. <laughs> Little bitch, Ron. <laughs> well, you can tell Ron. I'm not an owl. <laughs> Dude, why? He is mean mugging Harry. Have you ever seen that? What? Mean mugging? What? I don't know what that question was. Oh. Can we get what the hell is that? Go like, what's. Dragons. That's the first task. Oh, oh my god. That's a whole ass dragon. Ron was here. Oh, sure. His brother Charlie had to bring him over from Romania. He didn't tell me a thing. Oh, Ron's holding back secrets? His brother Charlie. Yeah, they have. There's two older brothers, Bill and Charlie, in the books. They're not really present in the movies a whole lot. Everyone's wearing Potter Stinks buttons. Yeah. Potter Stinks. Dragons. That's the first task. They've got one for each of us. He's serious. And, um. <laughs> Moody just lurking, bro. <laughs> hey, listen, about the badges. I've asked him not to wear them. Don't worry about it. You were just cracking up about yeah. it. Yeah. We were just laughing, huh? Why so tense, Potter? <laughs> Damn. My father and I have a bet, you see. You're just in a tree. <laughs> You're just in a tree, Malfoy? Thanks, Malfoy. Mm. Ah. He's vile and cruel. And you're just pathetic. Oh, no, he's out of the <laughs> Oh, shit! He just turned ferret. him into a ferret. Oh, my gosh. Relax, Moody. <laughs> is, that a, is that a student? Technically, it's a ferret. <laughs> oh, shit! Just Rain put him in snake's pants. pants! Nope, it's not Snape. <laughs> I'm sure he will. Oh, is that a threat? He's so cool. Never use transfiguration as a punishment. Seems pretty extreme, to be honest. Yeah. Look at his eye, bro. What do you think of Moody, Bryce? He seems like a man child. He's a talented wizard. He's just a big personality. I mean, he probably has to have a big personality for all the work he's done. Like he said, he, to catch the dark wizards, he had to think like dark wizards at one point. Ooh. Missing a leg. Probably because of the Dark Wizard. <laughs> well, 
I can fly. I mean, I'm a fair flyer, but I... Better than fair, the way I heard it. But I'm not allowed a broom. You're allowed a wand. Uh-oh. You're allowed a wand. We don't need a broom. You're allowed a wand. Cedric Diggory, shout out Hufflepuff. For real. Suff's house? I'm Gryffindor. Oh, okay. The Chinese fireball. Ooh. Ooh. What's Cedric got? The Swedish short snout. Sleeves. The Romanian. What's that boy? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to know that answer. The Hungarian. Hungarian. The horn. That definitely looks the nastiest. Yeah. Very well. Good luck, champions. Mr. Diggory. The sound of the cannon. Oh, okay, well. <laughs> cannon sounded. So he's up first. Cedric's up first. Harry Potter's last. They all passed. Oh, he's about to... It didn't show us what Moody showed him or taught him, so he's going to pull that out. About to fly around with his wand in his hand. All right, let's just go get, go get it. Yeah. Oh, well, did we forget there's a dragon here, Harry? Like, can... Are they allowed to, like, try to kill him? Like, is that what they're doing? I'm very... I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> it seems a little unfair. They all had to fight a dragon. Harry, you were getting swung <laughs> around, bro. Oh. That didn't even do anything. No. Oh, or did it? Oh, he's like melting the rock or the boulder. Yo. Oh. What's his broomstick called? The firebolt. Ah. Uh, is that what it's called? Yeah. What's the other one's called? The Nimbus. Nimbus but that one broke. Too. Yeah. And Sirius got him a new one. Firebolt. Who's a better flyer, Harry or the. The dragon? Yeah. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> well done, dragon. Just rooting for the. <laughs> Did they bet on the dragon to win? Might have. How exactly does the dragon win? Kills him or incapacitates him? <laughs> this is so cool. I mean, if the dragon was smart, it would just go sit on top of its egg, right? Yeah, but I mean, who oh, wants to get Harry? Not really a thing here. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Lost the firebolt. Can people even see him right now? No. Oh, that's convenient. This dragon's screwing up Hogwarts. Yeah, what the heck? Oh. Uh oh, we are hanging by a thread here. I'd kick that window open. Let's go inside. Dragon can't get you inside, Harry. Oh my gosh, put it under your legs, come on. Yep. Nice. Good recovery, Harry Potter. Wow. Oh. A little singed. Looks like me after Chipotle. You know what I mean, Rob? It's funny. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, shit. I just go back now, right? Harry definitely got the hardest dragon, too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. go, Harry. I almost just cried. The smoking broom. I think I've got tears filling up my eyes. Oh, yeah. No, you don't. Let him fall. <laughs> Little bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yes, yeah. sir. Harry Potter. Let's get those buttons off Completed the now, first huh? challenge. Fun fact, in the book, they say that he did it the fastest, too. Faster wow. than everybody else. How'd you know that? Because I read that book. Who wants me to open it? Okay. Is that <laughs> necessary? You want me to open it? Come on! He's milking on. He's doing yeah. it for the money. That's just screaming. I reckon you have to be barking mad to put your own name in the Goblet of Fire. It's true, Ron. Come on, Uggie. I suppose I was a bit too strong. Just make up already, bro. Come on. How do you think the first task was, B? 
Um, I thought it's something you could do. If I threw your name in there. Yeah. That was tough though, but I think it's only gonna get harder, right? Alright guys, we want to let you know real quick though, this video is sponsored by Factor. If you guys have nutrition goals, Factors makes it easier than ever. They deliver their fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. They have an awesome team of gourmet chefs that make each meal to help you feel great all day long. A bad thing nowadays for me personally and a lot of other people is they like to get takeout and takeout is very expensive and mostly unhealthy. Factor though, takeout is quick. It is much cheaper and everything is healthy. So you get a good diet and always have food in your fridge. One last thing with Factor, it is very quick and easy. You can pop it in the microwave for just two minutes and it'll be ready and it will be smell good and taste delicious. Sometimes I fall into the habit of eating a lot of the same stuff over and over again, but with Factor, they have over 34 different options. They're all chef prepared, dietitian approved options. Factor also includes a lot of different snack options. Our personal favorites being the smoothies. I think we can all agree they are awesome. Smoothies are our favorite. But yeah, but with that being said, they have a ton, a ton of really, really great options options other than that as well. Another awesome thing about Factor is they're really for anyone. No matter what lifestyle you're living, they have meals from keto to calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and even protein plus. Like they have meals for everyone. So if you have any personal fitness or nutrition goals, it really helps you hit that. They kind of cater to you. So I think it's perfect for everyone. Factor has given us a super, super awesome code for you guys. Head over to factor75.com or click the link below. Use our code realtime50 to get 50% off your first factor box again head over to factor75.com use our code r-e-e-l-t-i-m-e 50 to get half off your first box over on factor thank you so much again to factor for sponsoring this video let's get back to the movie reaction hi harry Ooh. oh you probably got a big head right now you got his eyes set though oh, <laughs> oh, oh harry no. come on bro oh that was really bad <laughs> I would give up. I would give up. Give up what? Just ever having a chance with that girl. I'm sending a dress. Oh. Well, it does match your eyes. Is there a bonnet? Aha. Nose down, Harry. Are you eating Fruity Loops, Harry? Some kind of cereal, yeah. Dress robes. Dress robes? For what? The U Haul has been a tradition of the Triwizard Tournament. We have a ball now. Ball. I feel like I'm on a ball today. We know a thing or two about balls. Bro. Shout out Bridgerton. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Never gonna let me forget this, are you? Never. <laughs> Twins are the best. Neville, get up. That's my guy. The brave man, Neville. Oh, Neville's hitting it. Oh, all right. He's good. Oh, he's got some shoes on. Polish too. He's a good dancer. Oh. Funny fun fact, Bryce does that with my beard. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He gets the Victor crumbs out of it and eats them. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, speaking of him. <laughs> he's got girls following him. He got his eyes set. <laughs> hey, Hermione, look elsewhere. Oh, oh, come on, Harry. Where is he? Her name Cho. He in Cho the halls. Chang, yeah. Cho Chang. Mm -hmm. Damn. What a way to ask. That's a good way. I like it. Oh my, he's so smooth. Oh my, I love he the, aced it. The synchronized. You couldn't have asked anyone more better. At this rate, you'll be the only one to argue without a date. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that was the most aggressive headphones. I love it. Will you go with him? Ooh. Know. He's asking right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just saw it happen there, Ron. Easy as that. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I love Snape. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. Oh. 
And I said yes. Victor? Victor Creel. She's lying, right? <laughs> She's lying, right? You've just got grit our teeth and do it. Tonight we get <laughs> Roll those sleeves up, Snape. <laughs> Feels like it'd be a good neck crack right there. Oh. What was that little thing at the end there? What was I moan about? <laughs> I thought you were Myrtle for a second. I was thinking I was. She's moaning. Yep. Whoa, I was, whoa, Rob. That's I her was, name. Okay, okay, okay. I was thinking of a neck crack. Harry went for a run. <gasps> perfect, perfect, Joe? perfect. I just wanted to. I just maybe you want to go to school with me. That was. What? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Ah, <laughs> uh, the way he said that was bad. Maybe he wanted to go to the ball with me. Yeah, of course. Harry, I'm, I'm sorry, but someone's already asked me. No. Draco. Okay. Damn, Harry. Yeah. Great. You waited too long, bro. I really am. Sorry. I really am sorry. No, oh, she wanted to go with him. He waited too long, bro. You asked her. I think Malfoy. It's okay, Ron. It's alright. It doesn't matter. What happened to you? What happened to Ron? He just asked Fleur de la Oh, no. There she was, walking by. You know, I like it when they walk. What a weird thing to say. I'm not cut out for this, Harry. Oh, what about the... Oh. That's two dates right there. Hey! I think Harry's thinking the same thing you're thinking yeah. there. Oh no, the dress robe. <laughs> he looks oh. so good. I love that. Mm. I really, really like that. Looks like he wrote the Declaration of Independence. Now, which one would you rather wear? What oh, Harry's God. wearing? I would want to wear Ron's, not gonna no, lie. There's no chance. I think he looks so cool. He looks like Scarecrow. That's not what I want to look like. I want to look like him. She has a date, bro. She told you. This is Victor. It's Victor Crumb, duh. Oh, Cedric Ashton. She's with no. Cedric. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there she is. Oh! Hermione Granger. Victor Crumb. I kind of like him, bro. He's pretty cool. He's a stand up gentleman. He looks, he, I would rather wear his outfit the most. I think his is the coolest. Ron's going to be so pissed. He's with Victor Crumb. Is it, isn't Ron like his number one fan? Yeah, he loves Victor Crumb. Harry looks, <laughs> Harry looks like a little boy with the rest of them, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> Ron's upset. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it is. Oh! Icing on the cake! So much for Neville and Ginny. Oh, Ginny. <laughs> He's gonna be so good. He's been practicing. Victor. <laughs> Ron is just a big pout ball this morning. up your sleeve, huh? You don't fool me, Severus. Dude, he's always there, watching. Next time there's a ball, pack up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. Mm. And not as the last resort. Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. <laughs> Little voice crack. Other dream? Nightmare? Tom Riddle. I think the Grim Reaper. Oh, we gotta figure out who this guy is. We can tell Sirius Black about it. Step aside, World Tank, so I can give our guest a proper greeting. Ooh, I had to live through that again. Harry, 
Why, you told me you'd figured the egg out weeks ago. The task is two days from now. Oh, wow, we've procrastinated heavily here, Harry Potter. How, how are you? Spectacular. Thank you for asking, Cedric. Look, I realize I never really thanked you properly for tipping me off about those trains. Hey, you took my date. Fuck yourself. You know the prefect's bathroom on the fifth floor? It's not a bad place for a bar. Just take your egg and mull things over in the hot water. Alright, man. What the fuck does that mean? The, the guy who took the girl you like to yeah. the school dance goes, Go take a bath, bro. Morning, Myrtle. I'm definitely out of my mind. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, it actually is Morning Myrtle. There she is. I just randomly said her name just now. She do be chilling in the bathroom. Did you say try putting it in the water? Ah, oh, dude, her noises are crazy. The other boy. Hendrick. The handsome one. He's just getting bubbles to cover himself. Oh. What is it? Oh. Sounds much different underwater. Do you know there's a wizard in Nepal who's growing gravity resistant trees? Level. <laughs> no offense, but I really don't care. Nepal? Maybe a plant points. will help you breathe underwater. Damn, bro. Why you gotta show Neville's passion like that? Turnip. It will allow me to breathe underwater for an hour, then great. But you can always use gillyweed. Yeah. Something. Gillyweed. Gillyweed. Yeah. So sure about this, Neville? Absolutely. Fun Sorry. fact. Most likely. In the book, Dobby is the one who gives Harry the gillyweed. Aww. Shout out Dobby. Here we are. The second task, baby. Hit that thing, Harry I Potter. That, I bet that water is so cold. Has to be. What's everyone else doing? They gotta have a plan, right? Oh. Gillyweed. Oh. That gill's like a fish, like a lily. Oh, and fins. Oh my. You should start a fin fan. Oh my god. I killed Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, a little flex that there, Harry. Dope. Yeah, he's wasting time. I feel like he can do this in an hour for sure. Well, never mind. It's a big lake. What, they got something taken from them? Yeah, treasure was taken from each of them. What the heck did he get taken? Floor. Whoa, 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 yeah, whoa, that's whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. What the hell's attacking them? What? Damn. They already knocked Fleur out. Those are definitely people. Ron, Hermione, Cho, and someone else? Yeah. Is it actually them now? Oh, no, that's not yours. That's Victor Crumbs, bro. That's Victor's. Uh oh, uh oh. Who's coming? Who's coming? Shark? That's Crumb. Victor Crumb Shark. That's so cool. The Shark Fiend. You got Hermione. Something. Harry's got Ron. Alright, sure, Ron. Come on. That's the poor girl that's friends with Floor. Cedric and Cho, they came up first. What were they doing down there? Just like... Unconscious? Oh, yeah, I think yeah. they were under They were spell. the prizes. Their beloved prizes. <laughs> Victor Crumb. Second place for him. Oh, Harry's bringing, I think, her up too, yeah. He's carrying two people underwater. Gills are gonna go out. Oh! Only one. Those things have the ugliest mermaids I've ever seen. Alright, then you two go, not me. Oh. Dude. Come on, Harry. He's punching them. This is bad. Who did that? I think it was Harry. Come on, get that dog in you. We know you got it in there, Harry. Recover that dog. Ooh. 
Oh, right oh. onto the platform. Did he do it in time? Seeing as Mr. Potter would have finished first, had it not been for his determination to rescue not only Mr. Weasley, but the others as well, we've agreed to award him second place. Let's go. He always just gets like the benefit the break. of the doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Harry's the luckiest kid ever. Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry. Fine achievement. Well done, boy. Whoa. What's Moody looking into? In the woods. Moody can never be standing in a normal place. Whoa. What was that? Can we learn what this dude's been drinking this whole time? Mad eyed Moody. Soon to be the youngest. Try with her champion as ever been! Hooray! <laughs> Look at those scars from the gills. Oh my. Is that what that dude was wearing? Is that him? Mr. Crouch? He's... He's dead. Look at his eyes. It can't be coincidence. Harry's dreams are scar-hurting. A dark mark. His name coming out of the Goddess of Fire. A lot of weird things going on. I feel like only weird things happen. Yeah. Harry Potter does not lead a normal life. I can come back later, Professor. Oh, not necessarily Harry Potter. What's his name on the left? I'd be back in What's up? Oh, that, that Minister of Magic? Uh, he's the leader, is Fudge. He? He's like the main yeah, guy. Yeah, he's like the president of the wizards. The Prime Minister. He's the Prime Minister of Magic. What's this magic object doing? Revealing itself to me right now. I wonder what the third game's gonna be. Task? Yeah. You remember. Yeah. What's your favorite one? I like the, the first one a lot. Harry Potter, what'd you get yourself into here? Looks like it. There's oh. Dumbledore and Moody. Flashback. Maybe. Oh, that's uh, Igor. Kakarov. They both have long black oh, hair. Snape, he said. Severus Snape was indeed a Death Eater, and prior to Lord Voldemort's downfall, turned spy for us at great personal risk. Snape was a Death Eater? Mm hmm. What? But he turned spy for Dumbledore. So those two meeting out there in like the. Sketch. Yeah, they were, they're both fellow Death Eaters, right? And they said they don't change. I know for a fact this person took part in the capture. And by means of the Cruciatus Curse, torture of the Auror Franklin Bottom, oh. and his name, give me the wretched That's the dude from the, the dream. Crouch. Already Crouch? Junior. Get his ass. That's him. That's Barty Crouch. Okay, I was gonna say. They said at the so beginning. Son. They said at the beginning that he he sent his own son to Azkaban. Hello, father. You are no son of mine. Oh. Definitely not trying to hide it, huh? So, so he's he did one of those uh, curses we learned about, the, the torture one on someone? They said that he did the Cruciatus torture curse on, on Neville's, Neville's parents. Oh. All right, well, Perry knows the guy in his dreams now. I had a dream about him. In the dream, I was in a house, and Voldemort was there. Only he wasn't quite human. Maybe we should have brought this up earlier. He just didn't know who this was. It's a sign, Severus. You know what it means as well as I. Well. Oh. The Death Eaters. That has to be the Death Eater tattoo. And that's why he said, roll your sleeve up, because Snape has one too on him. Here we are. The, the final third task. and final task. Are you ready for this, Bryce? No, turn it off. What's task three going to be? A, a game of chess? A foot race. Chess boxing? Game of go. A good look contest. Cedric wins. Cedric wins. What if Victor Crumb and Fleur just had a boxing match? Ooh. Fleur is out, huh? No, I don't... She's not out. She just <laughs> did not get a whole lot of points for that second task. Earlier today, Professor Moody placed the Triwizard Cup deep within the maze. Only he knows... His so just whoever finds this is going to win it. Uh, it's a big maze. Cedric Diggory! Let's go! 
Yeah, Harry Potter, let's also go! Uh-oh, Hogwarts is tied up. First person to touch the cup will be the winner! What's the short guy's name? Professor Flitwick. You think of him and the very tall lady conceived, I know what you're getting conceived a baby, would it be just normal size? I don't think. People change in the maze. Oh, find the cup if you can, but be very wary. You could just lose yourselves along the way. Oh, it's a mental battle. Who is that guy? Amos Stiggery. It's his dad. Oh, yeah. He's friends with the Weasleys. Yeah, he works at the ministry with Ron's dad. All right, we've arrived at the final task. It's maze time, baby. The maze runner. Guys, we're not watching the maze runner. We, we're watching the Goblet very of Fire, show, task though. three. Maze runner is awesome. Very, very good show, like Zuff said. Movie series. Look how big. Wow, that's a big wow. maze. Look, keep on looking. Goes on forever. How did they make this? Magic. With magic. Dark is I, fucking here. I've got the magic. In I've me. got the magic. I would be bad at this maze. I think I would just cut through the trees. Don't think they're trees. Weird looking trees. Oh, he's being forced to that one spot. Uh, that's a terrifying thought that the walls are just like closing in around him. Do you have eyeballs? Dude, Flora ain't gonna do nothing here. He's a nervous wreck. Yeah, I don't know if Fleur's, Fleur's built for this, bro. Something got her. What's up with his eyeballs, bro? Oh, it was him. Jacob? <laughs> bro, what the hell is Victor doing here? Victor Crumb's on some shit right now. Jacob? People change in the maze. Were you implying that he looks like a werewolf? Yeah. Okay. Busted. Ew, uh, he looks like Tyler One. <laughs> kind of does. He didn't even try it on him, bro. He's saving him for last. I'm gonna get my boy Cedric. Ew. Oh, oh my God. There goes Fleur. You still cutting through those trees, off? Yeah. With my machete. This would be the most boring one to watch, bro. Yeah, how could you see anything? Yeah. Oh. This is definitely the scariest one. Mm. I don't know. Underwater would be pretty freaky. And They're dragons. all pretty scary. And dragons. Uh-oh. That's it, bro. It's baiting you, though. Oh. Nice one, Cedric. What is... Crumb doing? Get that stupid ass wand out of his hand. He's bewitched, Cedric. You don't think he's bewitched. <laughs> All right, it's a f final dash. Here we go. No, you can't take my girl and my championship here. Yes. <sighs> oh my God, who's gonna do it? Oh, down goes Cedric. No, you gotta help him. You're a better person, Harry. Come on. Oh. Oh, Cedric's going through it. Like the upside down. Reducto. Cedric's just gonna push him down now and go for it. He saved Cedric. You're a good guy, Harry. Us Hogwarts boys gotta stick together. It's yours, Harry. Two winners. Nice. Oh. We're gonna win together. Oh, where in the Sam hell are we at? You okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is where the the dream took place. They're next to Tom Riddle. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are we here? Why are we at the Riddle graveyard? It's a port key. Ah, oh. it's a port key. We used one of those. Oh, not the scar, Harry. 
Oh, P oh, oh, look at that. Ugh. Look at that little man. Oh, oh no, man. Peter. No. He's dead. All right. That was the killing curse. Yeah. Well, Cedric. Okay, Wormtail, fuck off, dude. He's getting a bath? Oh! Oh, he, oh, he put like him a little in the cauldron. Alien. Flesh. Servant. You're ripping a little bit of yourself off. Willingly sacrificed. Oh! oh dude just cut off his hand in one slice. Blood. The enemy. I should have done that one second. The Dark Lord. Rise. Oh, Harry, please. Oh, no. Uh, Cauldron is on fire. Here we go. The moment I've been waiting for. Oh, dude. Looks like a Dark Souls boss. Here we go. Yes. Oh boy, here oh. he is. The man himself. Oh, I love it. Even though I'm probably not supposed to. He who shall not be named. Oh yeah. He looks so cool. Harry's just chilling. Just trapped. Alright. Oh god, who's gonna pop out? We got some Death Eaters here. They're just behind masks. We need to see who these people are. Not one of you tried to find me. Crab. Damn it, man. Crab? Yeah. Goyle. That crab's dad. Goyle. Mm hmm What the hell? Lucius. Yeah, not a surprise Least there. surprising one. Not a surprise there. Things have changed. I can touch you. Oh, oh, that's probably gonna feel nasty, bro. Oh, Is that right on the scar. Oh yeah. Pick it up, one, Potter. I said, pick it up. Get up, get up. Damn, bro, he wants to fight. <laughs> get the fuck up, Harry. Huh. Torture, the torture curse. One. Yeah. Harry's getting pissed off. Show him what you're made of, Harry Potter. Such an intimidating thing to look at. Just yeah. the Lord of Darkness and all his those, army. Yeah. Death Eaters. And then just Lucius with his... Oh! He went for the kill shot, huh? L Voldemort did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Harry's not allowed to use those ones, right? No. Oh, yeah, one stronger. seems very much more powerful than the other. You have liquid it? coming out. Come on, Harry. Stand your ground. Who is that? Cedric. Oh. That's Frank? It's Frank. <laughs> His parents? Lily and James. We can leave it for a moment to give you some time, but only a moment. Do you understand? Damn, he sees his parents. Take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. Oh. That's sad. Cedric. Oh. That's just that's just sad. Ooh. Go, Harry, go. Oh, nice. Quick escape. Let's go. GG, Voldemort. Fuck off. <laughs> you choked, huh. bro. You choked. Oh, dude. He's oh, dead. Oh, no, guys. Guys, he's he's dead. Almost. He's dead. No, no. No, no. No, no. Everyone's just clapping. He's back. Voldemort's back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. Not that. It's alright, Harry. It's alright. Is it? He's fucking back, bro. Dumbledore just wants to keep him calm. The body must be moved, Dumbledore. There are too many people. No. Oh, my. Oh. That's my son! That's my boy! 
my phone. Cho. Cedric's death never fails to make me sad. It's so sad. It would have been a lot easier if Cedric was like a dick. Yeah. Like not nice, but he was just a good dude. It's a nice guy. This dude's going through it, bro. He's going through it this whole movie. Well, his whole life. What was it like to stand in his presence? Jealous, bro? I don't know. It was like I fall into one of my. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Uh oh. He's out of his shit. In the graveyard with our others. I, I, I don't think I said anything about a graveyard, Professor. Uh, oh, no. I don't think he said anything about that either, Harry. Who are you, buddy? It was you from the beginning. You put my name in the Goblet of Fire. You won because I made it so, Potter. You ended up in that graveyard tonight because it was meant to be so. Bro, what were you trying to do with that? Odie has been plotting. Imagine how you will reward me. Ugh. I have once and for all silenced the great Harry Potter. Oh, oh out of nowhere. Dumbledore, Snape, and McGonagall. Are you out, Sir Moody? Are you? No. Oh. Is he in this room? Harry, get away from there. Oh, then you wouldn't believe me if I told you who's in there. Me. You all right, Alistair? I'm sorry, Alistair. That's Moody, but then who's... Holly Juice Persian. Now we know who's been seeding from your store, Severus. Oh. It wasn't Harry. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude. Looks like wrong turn. Oh, is it the sun? There he oh. is. Barty Crouch. That scumbag, bro. Been him the whole time. They love doing that shit, huh? You think it's someone and it's like, no, it's actually not him. <laughs> He does that weird ass mouth thing. Yeah. Sometimes you can catch Moody doing that yeah, yeah. little mouth I thing. I didn't notice that, but I didn't really think much of it, to be mm -hmm. honest. No, yeah, it's something you notice watching it again. Also, he is the person that showed Neville the Cruciatus curse. He's the one who did it to his parents. Ah, oh, damn. It's fucked up. Cedric Diggory was, as you all know, exceptionally hardworking. Riff Cedric, man. A fierce. Friend. It's like our first major death, actually. Rip Cedric. Cedric Diggory was murdered. Tell the truth. By Lord Voldemort, the Ministry of Magic does not wish me to tell you this. But he's keeping it a stack right now. Voldemort is back. And we'll celebrate a boy who was kind and honest and brave and true right to the very end. Rest in peace, Cedric Diggory. Gone too soon. When I was in the graveyard, there was a moment. Um, when Voldemort's wand and mine sort of connected. By the way, fucking Lucius yeah. was there, dude. Mm. Like, one of my fellow classmates' his dad was there. Like, can we talk about that? You're not alone. Wise Dumbledore. I wish he would say Lucius. W Dumbledore. Oh, by the way, Lucius was there. Do you think we'll ever just have a quiet year at Hogwarts? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh well, just like that few dragons. Hogwarts sure is exciting. Everything's going to change now, isn't it? Voldemort's back. Voldemort is fucking back, Hermione. Yes. <laughs> Promise you'll write this summer. Both of you. I won't. <laughs> I won't. At least you're honest, Ron. All right, Bryce, what do you think of the third? Well, well we fourth. watched that one last time. This was the fourth one. What do you think of the fourth? Yeah, I think this is 
by far the best one so far in my opinion of course in the mess people's opinions too yeah i i i mean i just think so much happened in this movie yeah, it was yeah. straight and action obviously since the beginning i've been saying i want to see voldemort because i i've seen what he looks like before mm -hmm. i know he looks like that just been waiting for it to happen and finally it did finally he is here you feel flesh. like it's, does he feel like a scary villain to you yeah but i'm just like i just think he's so cool i'm just happy that we have like the villain in physical form now yeah he's like, back and harry's blood is in him so is is that why he can touch him and stuff now because harry's blood is inside of him i believe so yeah i think it was definitely Crazy. like part of that ritual yeah i mean I, I like what you said that like so much happened in this movie because like it's the biggest book by far and they definitely left a whole lot out like there's so many storylines actually that didn't happen in the movie that existed that kind of like clarify things a little bit make it easier to understand i feel like um yeah i mean this movie still holds up it's it's awesome definitely still my favorite that we've watched so far i'm excited to watch like the rest of them because i feel like uh the end of this movie really sets the tone it's just like Voldem Voldem voldemort's back bro like it's the real shit now. Like, it's not just like, we got to deal with spiders in the woods. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's 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 cool. I, th I think Cedric and Victor Crumb were two of my favorite people. Like, I remember them out of all the Harry Potter movies for some reason. Because I always remember that shark scene. I thought he was so cool when I was little because <laughs> he turned into a shark. And I always liked Victor Crumb. Yeah, that's one of the things I was a little let down in. Because in the book, he's like very talkative. Like, he's very much... A, a relevant character and stuff in the book like, i thought we got to watch him play footage in the beginning not just his intro no nah, i think it's just the intro but that, that is a shame that we didn't get to see more because i feel like the quidditch world cup was so cool yeah, yeah that, just, that yeah. i mean that atmosphere was cool all the tents and stuff mm -hmm. all burned down by the death eaters yeah death eaters was a big part of this movie too i mean the dark mark the dark mark i'm pretty sure they were just hinting that snape has that on him I mean, yeah i mean they said that snape used to be a death eater just like kakarov but snape turned spy for dumbledore Dumbledore and it's always nice knowing at the end of this that mad eye moody is still down there and yeah he's, he's not a bad guy yeah. yeah it was someone pretending to be mad eye moody barty crouch jr i feel like i was expecting more with the i forget his name igor that guy though like kakarov kakarov i thought yeah. he was gonna sh have more at the end there because like he seemed like mm -hmm. you know he he seemed like he was uh behind everything obviously i feel like he's uh they kind of just use him as like He's one of the people that you're supposed to suspect. Yeah. Might yeah. be like doing or making all this like evil shit happen at Hogwarts. But was he really just not doing anything? But at the same time, to be, he, he to was be determined. Like, he was like talking to Snape, like, come on, bro. Like, yeah. You're one of us. I mean, like he said, he said the, the mark is back. Like they all have that. All the Death Eaters have that mark and it's back on their skin now. I thought that when they were like he was fighting Voldemort, I thought for a sec that like if Snape is that, he would have been taken there as a death eater and he was gonna like interfere somehow that's what i thought was gonna happen but i guess nah, he was at hogwarts he said dude snape is always showing up at the end and like somehow saving harry mm -hmm. just every time this time it was dumbledore mcgonagall and snape but it's always like you think he's like doing bad shit too it makes him look bad all the time like he's always talking to the sketchy dudes <laughs> yeah he really is yeah but lucius is a death eater and that's that would have been top of my list yeah. of guests. I mean, he's just a scum. I never, I never realized Crab and Goyle's dads are Death Eaters. Oh yeah, they're definitely a uh, part of the crew. Like, I don't know why Harry wouldn't now just go be like, yeah, they were there. These kids shouldn't be here. Like, obviously, or just treat them, like make sure they don't turn bad. I mean, I don't think you're changing Draco, Draco Malfoy. I feel like a lot of your your questions and like why isn't he telling people i feel like a lot of it will be answered um, okay. in the following movies they just need time to explain a little bit i just feel like this is gonna be like a common thing because i'm as far as i'm aware voldemort, voldemort is like the number one and like the main he's the big bad yeah. only big huge villain of the the whole series so like i just feel like it is gonna eventually or like mostly be these movies like harry just barely like getting away from these bad situations like he did there it looked really bad there i mean like he, he had him on on a silver platter pretty much like yeah and just let him he get fumbled away it, yeah i mean well, that was to, to the help of his parents and cedric for yeah sure. that was crazy seeing his parents and cedric in mm -hmm. like ghost form come back and they it's walk. it still doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me in the book but they somehow explain it in the book and they said that like 
because they mentioned it before that like Harry and Voldemort's wand share like a feather from the same uh, phoenix or whatever. Their, their wands are like connected. And whenever they like the spells connected, uh, there was like some weird ricochet. And the last like four spells that Voldemort cast with his wand like ricocheted out. And so the last four were those four people that he killed. That that was the explanation in the mm. book. It still doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's somehow like spell rebounding. I thought Ron was funny in this movie. I thought he was like his pouting was super funny. I loved watching him in this. Hermione was sort of I felt like she was more on her own with uh, like she had that little story with Victor Crumb. And uh, but I really enjoyed Ron in this one. And I, I loved his long hair. He's he's just so funny. I think going forward, sad as it is, uh, Cedric's death opens up potentially more Cho and Harry maybe in the future because like he wanted to take her to the dance and you got asked by Cedric so she couldn't yeah <laughs> dude's dead now he so. is not alive anymore so maybe maybe a potential little thing in the future he seemed like he really liked her and she honestly seemed like she liked him too so I don't think those Patil girls are going to be returning anytime soon they did not want anything to do with the boys <laughs> the boys were terrible dates though I cannot blame them yeah I don't know if this is like right or not but when when they gave peter pettigrew his like hand back i thought i thought for a second i was like that looks a lot like moody's leg is that uh, relevant at all or no? i don't think I, no. I think it just was with some weird like silver hand. okay, okay. I, I don't i don't know it's like he pulled his leg off at one point and he like said what it was and i was like oh, maybe there weird. might be something but if there is i don't know about it peter pettigrew is the worst loyal yeah. loyal guy but like voldemort said he's only loyal because he's scared he's just scared of voldemort but I mean, like I said before, the ending of this movie definitely sets the tone. And like Hermione said, things are going to change. Things are going to be different now because Big Bad's back. Voldemort is back. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much it for this movie. If you have been liking all of our Harry Potter reactions, please leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. We got the Patreon, Discord, all of our social medias down there, as well as the address to our P.O. Box. Send us something to be opened up on camera like everything you see behind us right now for our show mail time. And with all that being said, guys, we will see you next time for Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Peace out.